Hi all, and welcome to Pikers Reefs. On today's episode, we're going to continue on with our Queensland local fish shop crawl. This time is part four, and we're stopping in at Nielsen's Marine Mates. Oh, and while we're there, we might just pop into a little attraction they got out the back, which is the Shark and Ray Gardens. Okay, so on to stop four of the Brisbane local fish shop tour. And uh, we're stopping off at Nelson's Marine Mates, which is at a, uh, it's located within a nursery uh, at uh, Logan Home, which is roughly halfway between Brisbane and Gold Coast. Uh, once you're in the uh, nursery part of the uh, business, if you come around to the right, you'll find uh, Nielsen's Marine Mates. And uh, when you walk in here, you'll see this uh, store here absolutely packed to the brim with uh, products and livestock. So let's go for a bit of a tour in there. You're greeted with a um, discount table straight away, which uh, the uh, tightness in me loves that. I like seeing a uh, bargain right up front. And um, then we move on to some of the uh, fish foods here. And being a... Uh, it's a bit of a mixed store, that, despite being called Marine Mates, they do also have freshwater items there. So we've got a good range of dry foods there covering both marine and uh, freshwater. You can see a um, Red Sea reefer there set up. All the equipment there for um, the Red Sea DIY netting. Uh, we've got some uh, media pads. We've got some uh, Aqua One in uh, tank pumps and filters. We've got the clip-on filters. We've got a range of um, T5 tubing. You've also got these uh, really cool uh, coloured uh, silicon hoses, which allows you to coordinate your dosing. You've got your um, Eheim heater selection. And uh, in the uh, cabinet here, we've got some uh, wave makers, some uh, frag racks and plugs. You've got your AI range of um, primes, hydro lights, um, some of your more uh, high-end items. And uh, speaking of high-end, the first tank you see here has just got a beautiful specimen, a gem tang, just uh, looking happy and healthy in there, ready to go home. And then uh, next to him, oh, we've got another gem tang, um, and this time with his buddy at McKillie's, um, with a cleaner ass in there, keeping them all uh, all happy and healthy. It looks like we've also got an Atlantic blue tang in there. You can check out the pricing on the um, fish there. That's um, pretty competitive, really, for a, um, for a gem tang. In fact, I haven't seen one that cheap for a long time. Next tank we come along to is this uh, beautiful soft coral display. Um, those of us who have been in the hobby for a while will sort of take that a little bit for granted, but um, for people getting into the hobby, they see something like that. They love the colour and the movement of a soft coral tank, and I recommend all shops have an uh, entry-level display tank. Okay, so now we've got uh, some of the freshwater fish. Um, I'll give you a quick look at those, but I'm not going to describe them because um, I don't know what they are. It looks like, yeah, you got some goldfish maybe, um, some guppies. I saw some discus at the start there. Um, but let's have a look around here. We've got some more dry goods here and um, their showpiece uh, display tank, but we'll get back to that a bit later. We've got a range of uh, glues and epoxies here. We've got uh, the Aquaforest Stone Fix. Um, we've got some different salts down the bottom there, including uh, the Red Sea salts. We've got the Two Little Fishies Revive and some other dips there to help you eradicate uh, flatworms and things like that. We've got uh, the full range of the Quantum products, um, taking up a good section of the shelving there. And we've got some Seachem products over this side, API, Dr. Tim's, um, your RODI requirements. Um, and now uh, let's have a look at this stunning uh, display tank. Now I've been told this tank's been running for some time and it does have that slightly old school feel to it with that real uh, rock wall, but um, don't let uh, the, the definition of old school uh, get in the way because this tank is absolutely incredible. Um, the, it's just a, a piece of work, um, just a piece of art, I should say. Check out that Gonoporia in there, just a uh, beautiful specimen. We've got some Blastos, you've got um, some Montes, you've got uh, Euphilias, a giant um, uh, reverse stem hammer there. Got some scollies, some trachophilias, a beautiful uh, leather there. Some really nice fish in there too, including um, white cheeks, some wrasse. You see a pyramid butterfly, some chromis. And of course, we've got some freshwater tanks, which just uh, pale in comparison, if you're looking through my eyes anyway. Uh, moving on to some more of the dry goods, we've got uh, some of the uh, freshwater uh, items, um, decorations and whatnot. We've got some uh, Aqua One tanks there, um, complete setups ready to go. We've got some uh, beta fish there in the cups, so you can pick them up and take them straight to the counter. And we've got some more dry tanks here displayed, just so people can get an idea. You see the pricing there, you can see Aqua Reef uh, 300 for two grand take home. Um, slightly smaller setup there, but including everything you need. So you've got your filter socks, your skimmers, your return pumps, your lighting. Um, and this is as far as uh, this freshwater tanks go. This one actually did catch my eye. It's quite nice. Got some beautiful coloured fish in there. Um, I couldn't tell you what they are. Uh, I'd hazard a guess and say Oscars, but um, I'm sure people at home that know freshwater tanks are probably laughing at me right now. 
But uh, let's go around the corner here and have a look at the uh, livestock that's for sale. The display tanks are beautiful, but I want to know what I'm allowed to take home. So uh, we come into, I guess, what you'd call the wet room in here, and you can see there's a lot of tanks in here. We've got a lot of stock. Um, this is by no means a, a small a small aquarium store. So this first tank here is absolutely uh, awash with blue LEDs. Um, and I've got a filter on the camera here, and I've tried adjusting the color, but you're just going to have to bear with me. Things are going to look pretty blue. Um, you can see a nice range of uh, frags here, ranging from uh, pallies and zoas to leptos. Um, I think we've got some blastos in there. Uh, maybe some SBS pieces over this side. Yep, yep, we can see some SBS there. Um, some trachophilias, it looks like. Um, some more Rhodactus. We've got a live rock section here um, with some premium live rock. <laughs> you can see the, uh, the, the filter's definitely uh, adding a yellow hue to this uh, tank here, but there's no, not a lot of blue light on there, so that's, that's cool. And we'll jump over into this tank here, which is a bit more of an LPS specialty tank. We can see we've got um, some scollies down the bottom, some trachophilias, we can see some um, cushions. Um, into this one here, we've got blastos, gonies, favias, uh, looks like some euphilia, some morphs down the bottom there. Over here, pretty similar sort of tank here. We've got um, Big Lobo in there. Um, I can see a nice, um, I've forgotten the name of them now. That's embarrassing, but some, some nice pieces nonetheless. We've got some nice Favias, some Moon Gorals. We've got some Morgonies. And you can see we came here on a Saturday and the store was uh, pretty busy. So I've got to try and uh, work my way around with the camera uh, in between the customers. The last thing I want to do is um, get in the way of people uh, enjoying these fine specimens. Now we see some, we've got some pretty unique fish up along the top here. We've got a golden angel here, absolutely stunning golden angel. Um, really nice guy, 220 Australians, very good price for a fish of that quality. Got an emperor angel there. Um, it looks like a checkered wrasse, I think that was said. Um, pretty cool fish. And uh, we've got a few different variants of clownfish there, coming down to a few more clownfish. And of course, uh, these beautiful eels. That This one's super active. Normally you just see them hiding away in a bit of PVC. Uh, looks like we've got maybe a bicolor angel in there. Uh, looks like maybe Picasso clowns. Uh, beautiful uh, puffer here. I think there may be some more predators in this tank. Let's scroll across and have a look. Oh, we got some clowns. Um, a dragonette in there as well. Let's have a look what's over behind me here. I apologize for the non-logical uh, manner in which I'm approaching these tanks. But like I said, the store is quite busy and I don't really want to get in people's way just to uh, make a video. People that come into the store have got to get preference. So you can see a great assortment there of anthias, um, a few different wrasse, um, actually some more wrasse in there, a nice uh, angel in the background there. Got a beautiful uh, powder tang there, sailfin tang. We got some fairly feisty clowns in the background. Uh, what do we got here? That's a uh, lovely angel. Another sailfin. The sailfin and the angel having a little bit of a uh, bicker, but uh, they'll work it out, I'm sure. A couple of fish hiding in here. Got a uh, big maroon clown, uh, lovely emperor there. You can see a trigger in the background, a couple of triggers actually. There's a beautiful tang, I believe he's a, a unicorn tang. Um, and yeah, the fish just keep going. We're gonna come over and have a look at the fish over this side. Now, one thing I will point out, Nielsen's marine mates have got a um, fantastic assortment of fish and they can do them at a good price because these guys do their own importing. So they've got a quarantine room at the back, which we're going to have an opportunity to have a look at really soon. Um, whilst there's no fish in there at the moment, we're still going to get to see the facility and that um, allows them to bring in their own fish, uh, quarantine them for the best possible health and then also offer them to you at the best price because there's no sort of middleman, I guess, involved. So it's, it's worth considering there. You can see a lovely orange um, shoulder tang in there. Um, and of course, everyone's favorite, the blue tang. is a uh, lovely uh, flame angel. We've got uh, a number of chromos and clowns in there. Looks like a nice white tail bristle tooth in there. Um, a lovely angel, hogfish, some brass, and a whole heap of uh, blue tangs in there. Some more anthias. These ones, I think, may be coopers or bartlets. Uh, lovely powder blue in there, plus a rabbit fish. And there's our lovely uh, white tail bristle tooth. And have a look at this guy. Oh my goodness. The coloring on him is so beautiful. And look at him just flare up for the camera. That's an absolute stunner. It's a shame he's too big for my uh, Predator Pico. Um, I'd love to have a guy like that. Um, but yeah, no, he's a little bit big and I don't want to cramp his style because he's an absolute boss. So you can see there's absolutely no shortage of fish here. There's another lovely trigger. Um, so if you're not sure in the fish list and you want to look, go along and get some inspiration, Nielsen's Marine Mates have got a huge range. So you can have a look at the different fish, have a look at how they interact with the other fish. Um, you can talk to the team there about uh, compatibility with other fish you may have or with the corals or whatnot. Um, they've got a great assortment here. Check out that beautiful French angel. What a stunner. Um, just an absolute 
beast of an animal, just such a um, character, just knows that it's um, something special. You see the poor pyramid butterfly uh, trying to get a little bit of camera time, but uh, the your French angel's having nothing of it. Go past some more fox face here. Looks like we got a uh, that's a nice leopard wrasse, a red leopard wrasse. Uh, beautiful fish. So yeah, Nilsson's Marine Mates have a huge assortment of fish um, at all a very competitive pricing. In fact, that gem tank at the front um, made me a little weak at the knees because I'd love to um, find a way to bring him home. But uh, can't, uh, can't just keep putting fish in the tank. Now, another thing I like about Nilsson's Marine Mates is that they not only do they do their own uh, quarantining, but they also attempt to do things as sustainably as possible. So they've got a very large solar setup and try to run this, um, this aquarium completely uh, off the grid. Um, I'm not sure if they're quite off the grid just yet, but uh, certainly getting close. And you can see here, I just wanted to show you in the quarantine room, some of the UV filters. If you think you've got a large UV at home, you haven't. Check out three of them there. And uh, here's just a quick look again in the uh, quarantine room. Like I said, there's no fish in here at the moment, but um, you can see the setups here. It's a fairly basic setup. That's all it needs to be. Um, however, I will show you in a second. There is um, some requirements you have to do to actually get in this room, and I've only got my arm poked around the corner. I'm on a bit of a uh, selfie stick so that I can get you some footage. There is also uh, requirements on uh, how you can get into the quarantine room. It's very restricted. It's even got a water trap uh, for your feet, so you can't bring in any uh, unwanted bugs. But um, that's pretty much the aquarium here. And there's just one more feature I'd like to show you of this um, aquarium, which is something that uh, not a lot of the other places uh, would be able to offer. And that's a uh, privately owned section out the back uh, in, in the nursery, but uh, it's loosely associated with the aquarium. It is a uh, not owned by the family. It's completely separate, and you can see there is um, a price uh, to enter. But uh, how many places can you go to where there is a, uh, a shark and ray pond, uh, where not only do you get a show, but uh, you also have the opportunity to uh, jump in with them. So we're going to uh, just get a bit of a uh, sneak peek of uh, what's involved in this. And um, look, it's a fantastic draw card. If, if you're looking for a day out um, where you can sneakily incorporate a little bit of uh, aquarium action yourself, you can bring the family along. You can have a look at the um, nursery there. You can pick up some plants for home. You can uh, give the kids a bit of a show out the back here. Um, not to mention yourself checking out the uh, rays and uh, sharks but uh, you can also sneakily have a look at uh, the coral and um, fish in store so i'm going to hand over to old mate paul while he gives us a bit of a run through of what his show involves okay my name's paul this is the shark and ray gardens have you ever seen a hundred kilo fish come when it's called you watch this hey doug can you come up here please mate straight up if you don't mind see that nose out mate that's good work, mate. So come over here, mate. His name's Doug. Doug here is an eastern shovel nose ray. He weighs 100 kilos. Oh, that's right, mate. Where's your face? Now, watch when Doug swims off. He's going to come back and put his big nose clean out of the water for you. Go that way, please, mate. Hey, can you come straight back up, mate? Straight up, please. Straight up. Dog. Uh, he's actually better than a dog, and the reason why is he doesn't make any noise. <laughs> hey, thanks so much, guys. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. Very good to see you. You guys are right to go through there. Lovely. Keep, keep the place dry. That's good. Uh, let's get you some rays up, brother. Sure, dude. So in here guys, we've got a little blue spotted uh, ribbon tail ray, and uh, her name's Gizmo. Up here, sweetie. And what Gizmo really likes is her nose getting right up. You see her nose in the front here? Look at that fat stingray nose. You actually haven't lived until you've rubbed the stingray on the nose. Oh, I've got your nose, silly. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> now Gizmo here is actually a real soup because she doesn't eat prawns unless you peel them, break them into small pieces and feed her by hand. She'll actually starve before she eats prawn off the ground. She is completely committed to that idea. This guy here's name's Blondie. He's a brown estuary right up here, please, mate. Thank you, thank you. Blondie likes the front of his nose getting rough. Look at your tail, mate. What are you going to do? 
<laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's fairly decent. Uh, let's get lucky up for you as well, and then I'm going to pack on the loose boats. Yeah, man, for sure. Hey, where are you, Lucky? I know it seems a bit weird, a bloke knows this thing really likes his nose getting rubbed, but there was nothing, <laughs> there was nothing weird in it. We asked no questions, I There was about. nothing weird in it, I promise you. <laughs> well, except for. Oh, no, 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 it, was not, it wasn't weird. It wasn't weird. You know, not like Troy McClure. <laughs> You no. might remember me from yeah, such yeah, movies yeah, yeah. as Sleeping with the Fishes. <laughs> Keep screaming up, mate. Thanks, man. So that's Paul down at the uh, Shark and Ray Gardens attraction at uh, Nielsen's Marine Mates and Nielsen's Nursery. Um, obviously a fantastic uh, bit of fun to take uh, partners and families along to and um, just see some of these animals in their um, natural environment and um, just learn so much about them. But uh, let's not forget the uh, star of today's show and that's Nielsen's Marine Mates, a, um, a store that's uh, family owned and ran and um, just is filled to the brim with incredible uh, dry good and uh, live good supplies. They've got their own quarantine um, they're, they're doing a real sustainable approach with um, a large solar setup. A really cool store. Um, I, I was quite impressed when I went there, and um, I was, the only thing I was upset with is that I didn't have more time to see more. So um, be sure to check them out, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.